Hello, I'm Quentin Tortellini. I'm going to help you twerps understand how to make a film in the style of Quentin Tarantino, one of the best filmmakers of our era. Here are Quentin Tarantino's do's and don't fucking dares. Part 6. Complex scenes are explained through lengthy and compelling dialogue. And then he asked me, where are the bullets? He should probably know where his own bullets are. I, I don't know. It's something about principles. I guess it was a little on me, though. Sounds in the end it was a little more on him. No, that's not funny, Mr. Pink. He had just died. Part 1. Latently introduce your characters. You are Mr. Pink. You are Mr. Red. That is your name now. You will go by no other titles. No, no, no. I want to be Mr. Green, like in Clue. I'm good with red. Why? Well, I never wear red. Yes, I fucking do, you motherfucker. Part 2. As you saw, obligatory profanity at every turn, especially by the goddamn director. I don't need you to tell me how fucking good my lines are. Just say them. I know how good they are. I wrote them. No, but that's not our word, and I, I don't feel really comfortable saying it, and I, I think that you can get a different actor, maybe, like uh, Will or Max can say the line, because I just don't like that. I mean, e e no. Yeah, come on, Chris. We've said too many lines already. It's your fucking turn. Oh. Okay, here we go. Part 5. Gruesome, inexplicable, and completely unneeded blood and gore. Hey, I'm out of bullets. Is it possible you took mine again, Mr. Red? Uh, let me check. I think I'm out too, but... Fuck! Now I'm Mr. Red! Part 3. Awesome costumes, as well as... To be continued! As well as abrupt, unfulfilling ends.